Hey guys, welcome back to What's New at HGVU. My name is Navar Papikyan, and I'm here with Aiden and Brendan Najarian and Miran Mozian, discussing the topics of the Armenian Heritage Club. This being the first Armenian Heritage Club at HGVU, what really inspired and motivated you to start this club? Uh, so I really think that in our school it was necessary to have something like this because uh, I see in the students that there isn't that much willingness to participate in Armenian events and, uh, you know, like, uh, hide and asset events and what, whatnot. So I thought that if, if I start in the, within the students, um, there might be some more of a, you know, like a fire kind of born in all the students so that uh, in the future we could have a more strong Armenian community that's connected and um, has that connection with Armenia. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it is important to keep our Armenian heritage and our cultural life, especially as a small community? I think it's very important uh, to keep our cultures and traditions and our heritage, especially as Armenian heritage members and um, founders. Uh, it's very important that we keep our culture and heritage for our children and our grandchildren, especially being in a small community and also being a part of the diaspora. We can easily get swifted away from our homeland. So it's very important to keep our culture and our traditions close to us for, uh, for our, our grandchildren and our children to know and get educated on our traditions and heritage. And also for non-Armenians around in LA and, the, and uh, all around America and around the world. And uh, to let the non-Armenians and educate them what Armenia is and what they're going through and spread awareness. What upcoming plans do you have for the Armenian Heritage Club to help the people suffering from the current circumstance in nagorno karabakh We have um, future plans that we want to implement. Uh, there was discussions of having a school supply drive for um, autopsies that are going to be students in Armenia who uh, need school supplies and uh, as the HVU community here we are uh, collectively organizing a clothes drive currently for autopsies that need uh, clothes in Armenia. After high school, how do you plan to continue helping the Armenian people and spreading our Armenian heritage? Right, um, that's a great question. Um, once we leave high school, um, we plan on uh, always investing in our Armenian community, um, whether that's in the school, outside, after we graduate. And after we graduate, there's also lots of Armenian organizations, as we are the biggest diaspora in LA. There's lots of Armenian organizations, there's, um, there's AGBU, there's lots of nonprofit organizations that help at uh, Armenia and this based on South Seas. So there's really lots of opportunity for Armenians within the diaspora to be involved with their homeland and Help their, help their country and their brothers and sisters in the homeland. There aren't many Armenian patriotic people our age. What has motivated you to be one? Right, so um, it, I really believe it starts in, uh, in your home with your family. Um, I believe all three of us have been uh, greatly impacted by our grandparents, our family, and uh, the people that we're surrounded with um, outside of school. And um, we really get that motivation from our parents. And then there's also the Armenian community that our parents have allowed us to be a part of here at HBU. Um, and we really get to connect with our Armenian teachers, our Armenian friends, and we really get to um, express our Armenian patrioticness through, through, these, um, uh, through these ways possible. Yeah, and um, you know, however much uh, that influence we get from our, from our homes, from our families, our parents. Um, I think the school is kind of a place adding fuel to the fire to kind of uh, expand upon that, that passion. And um, because whatever happens at home, obviously the school setting is much different. So the fact that we have our Armenian teachers, our administration, <laughs> our school, and uh, our club to spread it through the students, I think that's what something, that's something that really, um, allows it to prosper and flourish. In what way do you think that the upcoming fundraisers and donations will provide for the Armenian people? Yeah, so um, we have a fundraiser going right now with the school mm -hmm. in collaboration with the school and other Armenian clubs in our school. And uh, what we started is collecting $20 a family, uh, well, per student, uh, a month to sponsor uh, displaced Artsakh families who are in need of support. and. Um, through the HV branch in Armenia, we'll be sending these funds to sponsor about like two to three families in need um, and to basically help them going in Armenia. Right, and to add on to what he said, um, for once we collect the money and we actually send it through the HVU uh, in Armenia, we will be 
receiving photos and pictures that we'll be giving back to the students in our school to make sure that their money are uh, given to the Atsaf residents. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify, it's two to three families per grade. So in all, it would be a, a much larger amount of families. And we're even thinking of even uh, having like um, uh, FaceTime and Zoom communication with them so we could talk to them and make that long lasting connection. So when we do go to Armenia, we could meet these people in person and really feel that connection that we did make a difference in this cause. Um, and I think that's, that's what matters in this community is to have that connection to Armenia. Uh, and you also mentioned um, fundraisers and whatnot. Um, our club does a lot of fundraisers as well, including free dresses and uh, we sell other Armenian items as well. Um, it's as much as you donate to Armenia, we have a community here as well that needs to have some attention. Because uh, if we don't focus on, the, it's great to focus on the homeland, but focusing on the diaspora and the community here is also very important. That's why we put a, a portion of our money into doing events here, so that we could raise the spirit here and raise awareness here for what is going on in the homeland and what has happened in the past. Thank you guys so much for this interview. It was great having you guys. Um, thank you. Thank you.